hey. So I decided to wake up in the morning super early and I was like, let's make a tier list on all the pseudo legendary Pokemon because I can quite literally do that. So let's, let's do it. I'm gonna rank all these pseudo legendaries from kind of best to worst. I didn't bother with these guys because they don't have much of an opinion on them. Except for this one. This one is terrible. I hate it so much. So here is everyone from best to worst. So we're gonna start off with the classic Dragonite. And yes, I spoiled on who will be the best. So Dragonite is here. It's orange, so it gets a huge advantage. So that means it's right here. So it's really good. Okay, so next is Tyranitar. Even though it's green, I think it's better. Because I like I just I just find the green look on this thing it's super stupid. I just find it super funny how it's green. Like it shouldn't be green. Like maybe it should have another color, but like I just find this like it's like weird moss green color it's kind of funny to look at because like when you think of a tyrant you don't think of green you think of like colors that are a lot more menacing than just moss green and also it's kind of it's kind of funny i don't know i just like the dinosaur look okay salamence is right right here i don't really like the color blue very much but it's an oh it's okay because the red goes well with it so it's like it's also, it's like, it's like complementing the ruby part and the sapphire part. So it's like, best of both worlds in a way. So I guess it's quite decent. Okay, so the next one is Metagross, which is right here. Because, first of all, it is the only pseudo-legendary that does not fear fairy types. Except for maybe this one, but we don't really care about that. But, I just really like the way it looks. I have no idea. Maybe it's the crab look going on. I just, I just find it super funny. <laughs> I also just, I just like the color scheme. Like, even though it's blue, I still like it. Maybe if they made it orange, it would be one of my fa absolute favorite Pokemon of all times. But it is still a really good Pokemon in my opinion, because I just, I just like the look of it. It doesn't have that, it has that, it doesn't have that much of a, it doesn't have that much of a dragon look, because it's not a dragon at all. <laughs> I just, I just, I just like it a lot, so, yeah. Okay, Garchomp, I'm gonna put it right here. I don't hate Garchomp. I would put it higher. It's very solid. I don't know what, I don't know why, but there's always something wrong with it when I look at it. But it is still a very good Pokemon, in my opinion. Not my favorite. Like, if I had to do favorites, like, t like top, like, 50 or 100, I don't think it would make the list. But it, it, it would be close to making the list. It's, like, a good Pokemon, but it's not amazing, in my opinion. Like, amazing is, like, anything that's kind of tyrant or tyrant above. Okay, hi, dragon. Um... Hold on, I just ranked these guys wrong. Let me just fix that real quick. You guys are supposed to be here. No, you guys are supposed to be here. Okay. Hi Dragon, you're right here. I don't I don't hate High Dragon, but there's something about it that I'm not really too fond of. I also hate its mid-evolution with a fiery passion because it just looks so ugly. I just I don't know. I just don't really like the look of it. This is something I don't like. I'm not really a big fan. Sorry. Okay. Gudra, I'm gonna put... Below Salamence. I think it's, it's solid. It's just... It's just Lilac Dragonite. But I like Salamence more because it's got that cool little scheme going on with Ruby and Sapphire. I just can't unsee it. Gudra, I don't... I don't know. I mean... If you mix the color scheme of X and Y, you get purple, technically. But just not a very bright purple, I would assume. So, sorry. Also, its Hisuian form is uh, 
right here. I don't know what, it just reminds me of a sick person. I just, I don't know. The color schemes remind me of someone who's sick for some reason, I just don't know. So the next one is Como, oh, which I would rank here. I think it's, I think it's quite solid. I like the little, little bullet thingy, bulletproof thingies, is protection hardest things it's got going on. I think it's great. Um, Dragapult, right here. No, no, here. Right here. It's not the most fun thing, but I think it's an alright. I think it's an alright Pokemon. I just, I don't really mind. It's, it's, it's alright. And last one is Vex Calibur, which I would put right here. I, I think for the Gen 9, I think for Gen 9, I think they did a pretty good job. I, th I think they did, I think they did good. I think that it's worthy of maybe not solid, but it, it's, it's, it's definitely good. Actually, never mind, it's better than Gudra's Hisuian form. So I would put it right here. So I think it's a good Pokemon. Dragon, I kind of want a Dragon Fairy Pseudo Legendary in my opinion. I don't know about you guys. I don't have much else to say. Let's just get rid of this tier because we don't need it anymore. Okay, this is my official pseudo legendary tier list. Or at least the fully evolved ones. So I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you whenever I can. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you for watching.